Hi everyone and hope you're fine. And one of your uh, our YouTube followers asked for question one of specimen 2023 paper four. Uh, it is not easy question at all. Before starting, just stop the video and give us like and subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe yet and bring a cup of coffee. Let's get started with a uh, figure 1.1 shows the speed time graph for a vehicle accelerating means a change in speed from rest, which is initial velocity is zero. Okay, the graph is start from zero and becomes curved and then there is a straight line here. Okay, the examiner is asking to calculate the acceleration at 30 seconds. Okay, let me mark it at 30 seconds at the halfway or the path between 20 to 40. Draw a vertical dotted line. It meets the line at the point which is 15. Draw the horizontal line here, 15. Okay, the value of the speed is 15 and the value which opposite to the 30, which is the time taken. 15 divided by 30 is 0 0.5 meter per second squared, but this is a wrong answer. Why? Because we have a curved line. And is not the right answer to calculate the gradient or the slope of this in the speed time graph for the acceleration. The correct answer starts from drawing a tangent at the same point here. Okay, make sure it meets the line at the point. Okay. Then choose any two points along the line, any two points. I prefer to choose one at the top and one at the bottom. Why? To minimize error. Okay, let me start from, oh, choose the point here is uh, approximately, here is 64. Okay, why it's 64? The difference between 60 to 80 is 20, divided by five sections, so each section has four. So 64, then draw a horizontal dotted line and it meets that 26. The five section, each one is one. Okay, then the point from uh, along the line or the tangent here, I'm going to choose this point, which is four here yeah, because 20 in each section by four. So the first section is four and the opposite one on the y-axis, which is seven. Okay, perfect. So this is y2 for the 26, and the value of the seven is y1, and the four is x1, and 64, which is x2. Okay, when you go to calculate the gradient, go to the next slide, okay. A, calculate the acceleration, as I told you, the 30 seconds, and we have completed this y2, y1, x1, and x2. Three marks for what? Firstly, explain to the examiner why I'm calculating the gradient, because the gradient here in the speed time graph, it means an acceleration. Step two, the gradient of the slope is the area here, this one, the shaded, the triangular shape. You're going to calculate the gradient by uh, finding the difference between the two values, y2 and y1, the rise, over run. Slope or the gradient equals y2 minus y1, the difference along the y-axis, divided by the x2 minus x1, the difference on the x-axis, then equals the y2 is 26 minus 7, divided by the difference between 64 and 4. 26 minus 7 is 19, divided by 60, and it gives us 0 0.30 or 300 uh, 16 kind of this and you give us the answer in the two significant figures with the unit meter per second square one mark for the acceleration equals to the gradient and one mark for showing this correct substitution uh, with a mathematical calculation and the correct answer with the unit section B without further calculation state how the acceleration at the uh, 100 seconds compares to the acceleration at the t 10 seconds. Use an idea about forces. Explain why any change in the acceleration has occurred. Okay, the 10 second, it was approximately a kind of straight line, then becomes curved at 100 seconds. It means that there is an increase in the value of the speed, but in the longer time, which indicates there is a less acceleration. Okay. Less acceleration. Who there is one formula 
linking the uh, Newton's uh, the force, the resultant force, and the acceleration. What this formula? It is Newton's second law of motion, and it is submission F. This one is sigma. The pro, the calculation or the where they have many or more forces acting on the object, the vehicle in our example, and mass of the vehicle times the acceleration. Okay. If you get less acceleration because of the decreasing in the resultant or the net force, how many forces acting on the normal cars moving along a straight path or the, the road, the driving forces forward and the backward force is air resistance or the friction force. Okay, so maybe these two forces becomes less one of these. Okay, so the first one is there is less driving force. Okay, for some reason there is a, because you're increasing your speed, that once you're speeding up, there is a greater air resistance. And this one affecting on the resultant force here, which is because if you subtract the driving force minus the air resistance and there is a greater air resistance or the effect of the influence of air resistance becomes more and more the submission of the subtraction is going to be less which affected on the movement of the car of the acceleration in reality is going to be less so both and according to the newton's second law of motion i want to advise my students to use an evidence to show the examiner that you know the link behind the scene or there is a mathematical expressions as mission F equal MA. Both net force, resultant force, and acceleration, this one must be written. And here it means you show the examiner they are linked together of the vehicle become less. It's mandatory to show the examiner again and again there is a link between the net force and the acceleration become less. One mark for showing the hidden reason for decreasing the acceleration or having less acceleration and the, the net force or the resultant force with the acceleration as well. These two marks for section B. Last section C, determine the distance traveled by the vehicle between the T 120 seconds and the T 160 seconds. Okay, to answer, to get three marks, first one is the distance traveled by the vehicle represented by the area under the graph. Where is the area under the graph? Here from 120 to 160, shade this area. Okay, this area, it's a trapezium divided into two sections. I draw a desert line here, one triangle, one rectangle. The area of the triangle is half base and height. Half times the base is the difference between the 160 and 120 times the height is the difference between 20 to 30. With our calculator, it's easy to do this one half times. 160 minus 120 is 40. 30 minus 20 is 10. Half 400 is 200 meters. So this is the area of the triangle. There is one more step to so calculate the total distance. The area of the rectangle is length by width. Where is the length by width? The length here, let me say, is from 0 to 20. 0 to 20. Here, which is 20 times. The difference between 120 and 160 is 40. 20 times 40, which is 800 meters. Good. The total distance, you have to add them together, 200 plus 800 is 1,000 meters. Okay, we get three marks, one for explaining why I'm calculating the distance in this way, use an area under the graph, step two, divide it in two sections, an area of the triangle, and add it to the area of the rectangle, and it gives us 1,000 meters, the correct answer with the unit, the third mark. If you'd love the video, give us like. If you have any questions, please, please leave a comment for us. See you next video.